I love these shoes. They feel so comfortable, actually. I never wear heels. Like, <laughs> unless I have to, like, unless I'm dressing up and going somewhere. I didn't use to. Like, where are you going to wear heels in a small town? <laughs> You're in the big city now. I went from, like, Pleasantville to sex in the city. <laughs> OK, so let's, like, sit in a circle, little circle. Um, hike your legs, so bring your legs forward into a straight line. And we're just going to lean forward. But um, I was kind of curious, like, if anybody wants to say what what got you into pole? I'm just always curious about people's journeys. I actually went to it for the workout part of it, the fitness part. Didn't realize how hard it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Pain. I feel like the painful part of it actually adds to the, the how badass it makes you feel because if you can push past those painful things and pull, yeah. you just feel, have so much confidence in yourself. And then what's really cool is that translates out into the real world. I think also for us, there's like a lot of mental stuff that like working through that. Like we both grew up in a very conservative environment where like women's bodies were shamed and like moving sensually or wearing revealing clothing, anything like that. So I find like even as an adult, even though I don't believe any of that stuff, I still have mental blocks. Yeah, we all do, you know, we're all shaking off the programming yeah. from our upbringings in some yeah. way or another. And with all that, like I just got out of a relatively like, I guess sort of controlling relationship just to the point where like this would not be okay. Yeah. That's but I'm really glad we're doing it. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna warm up, guys. So let's stand up. We're gonna come to our polls. Everybody tell me what you wanna do now. I'm excited to get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a very simple little walk around the polls. I feel like I've allowed too many people to tell me who I'm supposed to be, what I can and can't wear, how I should or shouldn't act. Like, always, I have to be perfect for someone else, when in reality, I have to be perfect for me. The walk is one of the easiest ways to convey your confidence about yourself, and it's, it kind of sets the tone for the rest of your dance. So you want to really be lifting up through the chest, and then we can switch it around, do the other side, right? So you're going to use the other arm up nice and high. Try to do the toe drag. Pretend like you have a piece of gum on the top of your platform that you're trying to scrape off. <laughs> Growing up, I've done a little bit of ballet and a good bit of ballroom dancing. And then what are we doing with the outside arm? You can flip your hair, I love that. Go Lauren. <laughs> you can trace it up your body. Pole dancing is so different in every way. 